Turkey, human rights lawyer Ebru Timtik has died of a hunger strike she launched in prison to demand a fair trial for herself and colleagues. She had been fasting for 238 days. Holy hell, that's a long time. Rip. She had the strength and courage of her convictions, unlike so many strong-arm tyrants today. Hold on, hold on, is it even possible to stay alive for over half a year without eating, let alone two-thirds? This is a legitimate question. Edit, hey guys, most of you say it's possible with multivitamins. But my new question is do you really think she would have multivitamins in a Turkish prison? This is the best TL, DR I could make, original, HTTP colon slash slash English. Aram. Org. EG slash news content slash 2 slash 8 slash 378786 slash world slash region slash Turkish lawyer Ebru Timtik dies on hunger strike D. ASPX, reduced by 70%. I'm a bot. A human rights lawyer in Turkey has died of a hunger strike she launched in prison to demand a fair trial for herself and colleagues, an attorney's group said. Timtik started the hunger strike in February to protest alleged unfair proceedings during the trial, along with another colleague, Itak Unsal, who is reported to be in a critical condition. Ebru Timtik's hunger strike for a fair trial and its tragic outcome painfully illustrate the urgent need for the Turkish authorities to credibly address the human rights situation in the country and the serious shortcomings observed in the Turkish judiciary, Stano said. Extended Summary HTTP colon slash slash NP Reddit com slash r slash auditor slash comments slash thuriabn slash turkey underscore human underscore rights underscore lawyer underscore ebru underscore timtik underscore has underscore died slash FAQ HTTP colon slash slash NP Reddit com slash r slash auditor slash comments slash 31 b 9 fm slash FAQ underscore auditor underscore bot slash version 2 02520243 TL DRS so far feedback http colon slash slash NP Reddit com slash message slash compose to equals percent twenty three audit ultra PMs and comments are monitored, constructive feedback is welcome. Top keywords Lawyer carrot hashtag one turkey carrot hashtag two hunger carrot hashtag three strike carrot hashtag four timtic carrot hashtag five. Tragic, and even more tragic this won't make a dent in Erdogan's regime. Holy shit you can live that long without food. Sentenced for trumped up charges too. Sad. HTTPS colon slash slash www. Turk com slash video slash turkey slash chd baskin in ngoran chulari ordia sikti i don't know if people can watch the video but this is how the police raided people's law bureau allegedly they were burning documents etc and she keeps saying you didn't try to wait you just broke the door and policemen saying we have warrant you can file complaints then they try to get the lawyers outside but they refuse etc HTTP colon slash slash BNET org slash English slash law slash 209531 police raid people s law bureau you can read further in here if you are interested the crime is being part of a terrorist org apparently there are a lot of nuances but it's shady AF to say the least that's incredible she's a freaking superhero Ebru Timtik rest in power fair trial in Turkey Sadly, that is not going to happen no matter how many people starve themselves. Wow. Sad to see she had to pass away without seeing any justice for her fight. I wish I could even hope that Erdogan's regime would give even the slightest fuck about her but they want. Might have a laugh about it even. She is one of the reasons in German language we call him Erdogan. One means delusion. Rip, courageous woman. For all intents and purposes, all the lawyer did was her job be a lawyer and for that, for all intents and purposes, she got the death penalty. Turkey is sliding backward into the being primitives territory. Its leadership money grub and power hungry and cowardly to let the people be free. There's a special place in hell waiting for Erdogan and his family.
and I will be there to ensure justice is served. Remember when Turkey had that very obviously fake coup a couple years back all to secure Erdogan's dictatorship. Imagine your last 238 days of life, spent locked away, starving, never to get the fair trial you could get in so many other nations. Probably locked away on false or overblown charges. Poor woman, at least you can rest now. Fuck Erdogan, may he die horribly. Why is Turkey so fucked up? More balls than all Turkish men who suck Erdogan's dick combined. What are you people talking about? Why are you focusing on the scientific aspect of the matter, while you can focus on the fact she fought the unjust and dictatorial regime of the Sultan Erdogan? She gave her life so justice can come to Turkey, giving her all and defying every instinct of preservation. Erdogan has killed thousands like her. Please be more considerate. As a Turkish person, I'm appalled and disgusted. My hatred for Erdogan and his party just keeps on growing. Disgusting, tell the jailer not to bother. With his meal of bread and water today. He is fasting till the killing's over. He's a martyr, he thinks he's a prophet. But he's a coward, he's just playing a game. He can't do it, he can't change it. It's been going on for 10,000 years. Tell the people they are safe now. Hunger stopped him, he lies still in his cell. Death has gagged his accusations. We are free now, we can kill now. We can hate now, now we can end the world. We're not guilty, he was crazy. And it's been going on for 10,000 years. Take your place on the great mandala. As it moves through your brief moment of time. Win or lose now you must choose now. And if you lose you're only losing your life. Albert B. Grossman slash Mary Allen Traverse slash Peter Yero. Erdogan is evil. Just want to mention that the media source is Alarum, an Egyptian state-controlled newspaper, all Egyptian news media is state-controlled. Egypt, with Greece, is in a rift with Turkey over Mediterranean oil and gas rights and it's gotten nasty. Second check the information being provided, or better yet, read the story from another source that is less biased. Turkish people need to end Erdogan for the good of humanity. Man, today sucks. Nonviolence doesn't work against violent dictators. She didn't die of a hunger strike, she was killed by Erdogan. So fucking sad. What a hero. One of the worst ways to die I've read. Dying for justice in such a world these days seems to be a trend, as well as a sad necessity. Standing up for your rights and freedoms as a human being may come to us all one day. This is so tragic and reveals deep issues in their judiciary system as Timtik's death comes months after two members of a left-wing popular folk group that is banned in Turkey also died of a hunger strike, also were. Is a hungry strike not just a really slow form of suicide? Also Turkey, congratulations, you played yourself. Hunger strikes only work if the people you are striking against care if you die. This is why you should care. Asterisk as Timtik supporters approached a northern Istanbul cemetery chanting Ebru Timtik is immortal and the murderous state will be held to account, helmeted police with shields fired volleys of tear gas, reported AFP. Asterisk. Does that sound familiar? Sounds a lot like the protest outside the church in Lafayette Square. And guess who endorsed Trump in 2016? Turkey's President Recep Tayyip Erdogan. Tyranny and fascism is universal. Turkey is an evil dictatorship. I'm gonna fast today in her memory. Rest in power. That is far more strength than any of the evil men she was fighting against have ever had collectively. Ever. My country is going to need this kind of strength to fight the good fight. Hong Kong too. Belarus. The list goes on. The 99% need to unite. It is so sad that this act is highlighted at its end, not during its enactment. Turkey is fucked, and ever authoritarian leadership like it, Trump and Putin included, are the scum of life itself. Fuck Erdogan. Erdogan's supporters will be celebrating, he has built a Islamic nationalist cult and will support his every move. Grim as fuck, what a hero.
Fuck the system that caused this, sad. Worst kind of loss for humanity when we lose a person that cares for everyone. I hope her colleagues get that fair trial. Sad crying face. I remember in old Turkey hunger strikes made the news. You can tell politicians was rattled by it and were doing something to stop this madness. Today's Turkey nobody cares. Media simply saying that that woman is terrorist and she deserved it. The most horrible part is that this injustice is done by Islamist leader who believes in creator who believes that he will be held accountable afterwards.